bring in Keith Hernandez, uh, former Cardinals and Mets first baseman. The SNY booth of Gary, Keith, and Ron celebrating their 10th season together. You can tune into SNY for coverage of the Mets home opener today versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Coverage begins on SNY at 11.30 a.m. with the first pitch at 110. How are you, Keith? I'm good, thank you. I'm actually uh, driving to the ballpark. So. Did, you, did you watch the Masters? I watched it, uh, the final round, a lot of it, yes. Now, why did you watch it? I always, I always, I always uh, love the uh, Masters. It's my favorite. That and the British are the two that I enjoy the most. And uh, obviously, they're both during baseball season. I just didn't happen to work during the, uh, the weekend. I wasn't in Atlanta, so I had an opportunity to watch. So whenever I can, I do. What's your handicap? Oh, I don't play anymore. I have a bad back. <laughs> I can't play. When was the last time you played? Pardon me? When was the last time you played golf? About seven years ago. And how good were you back then? Oh, I was just, uh, I'd probably shoot low 90s. That wasn't very good. Do you miss I it? Bad back. I have back issues. My back, I can't take it. So, uh, And I have the baseball swing, which is more horizontal than vertical. <laughs> it's a tough game, you know, and I you got to put the time into it. And if you don't, you can't expect to be very good. And uh, I just, you know, I spent my whole life uh, uh, training to hit baseballs, and I just can't get on a driving range and hit a hundred seven irons. I just I get bored to tears. I can't put the time. In. He's Keith Hernandez, SNY analyst, former Cardinals and uh, Mets first baseman, joining us here, Dan Patrick Show. We were talking about this before you came on, Keith, about the. Percentage of people that recognize you as Keith Hernandez, former baseball player, analyst, versus the percentage of people that say you're the guy from Seinfeld. Um, it, it's probably since I shaved my mustache off two years ago, uh, it's, Seinfeld reached a far wider audience, obviously. Uh, so uh, I have always get uh, walking through an airport or, you know, it's usually, can I help you move? What was it like to kiss Elaine and all that stuff? So it's all good. It's all, it's all good fun. How many people have offered to help you move? Uh, oh, since the show? That's, shoot, that was 1992, I believe, or 93. That's over 20 years ago. I couldn't even begin to, to tell you. Have you ever taken somebody up on that offer? No, I would not do that, no. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I'm not into helping people move, and I certainly wouldn't want a stranger to help me move. <laughs> Were you surprised when when that show hit? And I was reading something earlier, Keith, that that was named by TV Guide the fourth best episode of all time, the fourth best television yeah. episode of all time. How surprised were you when that had the reaction it did? Um, well, um, I'm very surprised. I feel very fortunate that it wasn't just a... I had never done any acting or any training for acting. That was really my first uh, gig with uh, any kind of acting. And I had a you know guest star role with a lot of lines that was really petrifying. Um, but for have that show have the leg that it's had, that particular episode, um, I'm obviously very happy about that. And, um, you know, it was an hour show. They show it now in two parts. So they used it on Sweet Sweet. So I, if I recall, it was the second year of the show. And uh, Larry David told me afterwards that they, were, they really loved the script and they wanted to use it on Sweet Sweet because the show really didn't take off uh, its first year. And they really felt that this would be a good vehicle for the second year to really you know, get the show off its up and running and popular. They really loved the script. So it was all revolving basically what Larry said after the week was done, that it, how good if I was to be okay, if I was bad and stiff. They, they had the show written for a half hour, and they had the show written for an hour. So it was all depending on how I did, which I, I can't watch it. I, I, I get embarrassed when I watch it. I just memorize my lines. But evidently, it was good enough for them to use on Sweeps Week, and um, uh, the rest is all history. It was just a very, very wonderful experience. Best memory from shooting that episode? 
The best memories were the creativity during the week. Um, not just one. How there were three other writers besides uh, Jerry and Larry. And every principal actor uh, had input into improving each scene as the week progressed. When I got there on Sunday night, you get you start Monday morning uh, at 7 o'clock call. And in the first two days, you read the script at a table. Um, and the actors and the other writers were just all had input into how to change the scene, the tinkering with the scene to make them a, a more funny. So the creative part of it to me was uh, really, really interesting to be a part of that. It was a experience never to forget. He's Keith Hernandez, former Major League Baseball first baseman, SNY analyst here on the Dan Patrick Show. Uh, Barry Bonds came out over the weekend and said that baseball should celebrate Alex Rodriguez as he breaks these records, beginning with Willie Mays and his 660 home runs. Do you agree? No, I don't. Why not? I think steroids is cheating, and anybody that's caught, it's not good. It's ruined the game. It's still got its nasty stain on this game. And uh, a game that's so old and storied, um, and all the records were just blown out of the gym, and uh, I just think it's probably one of the, the darkest period in baseball history since the Black Sox scandal. Do you think any of the PED users that have been connected to it over the years should get into the Hall of Fame? No. Do you think they Not will? Connected. Not connected. I guess, so, uh, without a lack of a better word, convicted, they don't get in. What's the criteria, though, for convicted, though? Because there is some circumstantial evidence out there about a lot of guys. If you are using, you know what you're doing, and you're cheating. They, we grew up as kids watching Olympics. The medals were taken away from athletes who got caught cheating. I'm not saying all of them get caught. Same thing in baseball. You know what you're doing going in. The, love, the playing field is not level. You've had two guys that hit 70 home runs and one didn't, one lost the home run title. That is ridiculous. It made a mockery of the game, and uh, it's a thing that'll be there forever. I mean, it, it's just so anybody that cheats, they do it knowingly, and particularly now they know the penalties, they don't get into Hall of Fame. Uh, before, the story. That's just my opinion, okay? That's just my opinion. Before I let you go, Keith, Matt Harvey looked pretty good in that first start back, you know, his first start since Tommy John's surgery. Uh, How far back is he? Is this guy back to being the same pitcher we saw prior to the injury? I think he's uh, better than he was his rookie year. He's uh, more confident. He's more polished. Uh, It's just a matter of uh, him. That arm is like a treasure. You just don't want him to get re-injured. He just looks like he's going to be... Uh, another Seaver, another Carlson, another Bob Gibson, Warren Spahn. One of those guys that it's really, really, really special. Good to visit with you, Keith. Appreciate the time. Oh, you've got it. That's Keith Hernandez, SNY analyst here on the Dan Patrick Show.